So, <clears throat> I picked up some, uh, well, I picked out a bunch of stuff that I got from my pre-release kits from the new set. So I'm going to uh, put some of these in my Calamax deck. And so, there's Calamax for you. So it's really big on copying spells and getting him big and swinging in for wide. Um, so really what I came out to is I needed more counter spells in general. Um, I needed a way to play stuff out of my graveyard. I wanted to get stuff out of my graveyard. And then uh, the cradle, we'll get to the cradle here in a minute. Um, so with a loose focus, what I'm looking at on this one is to do the replicate so that I'm copying it quite a few times. Um, that'll especially be good if I need to really stack it on something if there's a storm. Uh, but also that replicate is going to add for uh, you know Calamax's ability to put a 1-1 counter on whenever he's co something's copied. Uh, throwing in counter spell, I've been knocking the idea around for a while but I need some more counter spells in this deck so it's getting cheap um guys will pretty much a Yawgmoth's will that's why I'm throwing it in there so I can play stuff out because I spell sing a lot in this deck and I stack the graveyard pretty fast so this would be great for it and then uh the timeless witness same thing bringing stuff back and if I need to I can internalize it to bring it back in trigger it again and the Cradle of Growth. I'll get to that in a second. Pretty excited about that one, actually. So, as far as what I'm looking for in here, uh, I want to be able to replace stuff that's not really doing much. So, going off, off the top here. <clears throat> Find stuff that's not really doing too much in this deck. And if you have a uh, pretty good idea what you would switch out, and actually this would be, uh, I picked him up so I can use him as this. Which he gets a good, pretty good copy off of. Uh... Let's see here. And I just put him in there as well. I might take Dream Cash out. So I can go more on the instant side. Might take Clash of Titans out, even though it's an instant. Um, I have other ways to do the fights, more indirect stuff, there's cheaper ones. There's actually a cheaper green one that I probably should be pulling. See now this one, uh, I might pull this to the side because there is the wizard tutor thing. I don't know. I'm going to figure that one out in a little bit, so I'll just put that to the side there. Might take Chaos Warp out. And Kazil's Fury. Been keeping this in so I can do the jump start out of the graveyard. Got a passage, it's good. Of it. Love Luster Storm. I love this a lot. It's uh, pretty, pretty good, especially for this deck. I'm pretty sure I'm going to chunk her out. Next Sage. 
like this a lot. It works out pretty good most of the time. Pretty sure that's going to be the replacements that I go for. Kind of comfortable with everything else that I have. So, I'll leave this one out to the side. It's staying in there, but I want to talk about that in a little bit. Yeah. So, let me take a look real quick and see what I've got. see about these four because I know I can replace them so because those Fury I mean it's all right but uh, I don't use it that much as much as I want to so I'm just gonna go ahead and throw in lose focus in its place the dream cash I want to switch out for the counter spell Leaves these two. Which one? I'm not sure which one I would take out. So, I'm going to dump both of these. Kind of hoping it doesn't bite me in the ass. But, we'll see. Alright. So it turns out she makes the cut. Now, let's look here. It's the uh, Yava Maya that I was talking about earlier. So, uh, with this one, given everything the forest in addition to its other land types, I mean, that's pretty good. Sometimes I'm short on forest for this, and I need them so I can do ramp spells and whatnot, but I don't do a lot. It's uh, mainly double casting stuff or counter spells, or find ways to copy things. Um, so what I usually need to do is get stuff to be more on the blue side. So my way of getting around this thought that I had is to go with uh, Mind Bin, change the text of target permanent by replacing all instances of one color word or basic land type with another. So I could switch this out from being the forest to being an island, being a mountain, whatever I need for this, or if I'm able to steal stuff, which I don't really do, then uh, I can use it to change the type. Um, same thing with Magical Hack. So they're both pretty much the same thing, except this can target a spell, which, as opposed to this is just a permanent. So this can switch out a spell. Um, and then of course, both of these would be pretty good if I need to, if I can Isochron Scepter it. But most of the time I'm trying to Isochron Scepter with a counter spell or with a Mana Drain so that I can ramp up on the colorless mana. But if it's not an option, then I can go with either one of these. But uh, I'm not sure how I want to do that yet or if I even want to do it because I'm not even sure if I want to put Yavimai Mai in here because I don't really rely on having a, have a lot of that land. Um, I could run into making the infinite mana with this one, but I haven't got there yet. But that's what I'm doing with my Calamax stuff. Um, and those are the ones that I've been, that I've decided to put into this deck and upgrade it with. Have any thoughts, man? Just let me know.